The Game Developers Conference GDC is a yearly conference for video game developers. The event has learning, inspiration, and networking. The event includes an expo, networking events, and awards shows like the Game Developers Choice Awards and Independent Games Festival, and a variety of tutorials, lectures, and round tables by industry professionals on game-related topics covering programming, design, audio, production, business and management, and visual arts. History Originally called the Computer Game Developers Conference, the first conference was organized in April 1988 by Chris Crawford in his San Jose, California area living room. About 27 designers attended, including Don DeGlo, Brenda Laurel, Brian Moriarty, Gordon Walton, Tim Bringle, Cliff Johnson, Dave Menconi, and Carol and Ivan Manley. The second conference, held that same year at a Holiday Inn at Milpitas, attracted about 125 developers. Early conference directors included Brenda Laurel, Tim Bringle, Sarah Reeder, Dave Menconi, Jeff Johannigman, Stephen Friedman, Chris Crawford, and Stephanie Barrett. Later directors include John Powers, Nikki Robinson, Ann Westfall, Susan Lee Marrow, and Ernest W. Adams. In the early years the conference changed venue each year to accommodate its increases in size. Attendance in this period grew from 525 to 2,387. By 1994 the CGDC could afford to sponsor the creation of the Computer Game Developers Association with Adams as its founding director. In 2005, the GDC moved to the new Moscone Center West, in the heart of San Francisco's Soma District, and reported over 12,000 attendees. The GDC returned to San Jose in 2006, reporting over 12,500 attendees, and moved to San Francisco in 2007 where the organizers expect it will stay for the foreseeable future. Attendance figures continue to rise in following years with 18,000 attendees in 2008 event. The 2009 Game Developers Conference was held in San Francisco, on March 23-27, 2009. The IGDA awarded 25 scholarships to send qualified students to attend the 2009 GDC. Crawford continued to give the conference keynote address for the first several years of the conference, including the famous WIP speech in the early 1990s where he punctuated a point about game tuning and player involvement by cracking a bullwhip perilously close to the front row of the audience. Crawford also founded the Journal of Computer Game Design in 1987 in parallel to beginning the GDC, and served as publisher and editor of the Academic Style Journal through 1996. The CGDC changed its name to Game Developers Conference in 1999. The GDC has also hosted the Spotlight Awards from 1997 to 1999, the Independent Games Festival since 1999 and the Game Developers Choice Awards since 2001. The GDC is also used for the annual meeting of the International Game Developers Association The Independent Games Festival is the first and largest competition for independent games, and highlights the innovative achievements of developers ranging in size from individuals building PC titles to studio teams creating console downloadable titles. A pool of judges from the game industry selects the finalists and winners, and the individual creators are named as the recipients of the awards. The IGF is managed and developed by UBM TechWeb, the organizer of the GDC. The Game Developers Choice Awards is the game industry's only open, peer-based awards show. Any member of the IGDA may nominate games, and then the membership votes on the finalists. As with the IGF, the individual creators are named as the recipients of the awards. Specialty awards such as Lifetime Achievement and First Penguin are determined by the GDCA committee, and all are revealed at the Game Developers Choice Awards ceremony at the GDC. The IGF and the GDCA are presented back-to-back, -back, in an awards show produced by UBM TechWeb, typically on the Wednesday of the GDC. UBM TechWeb has added several other events to the GDC in recent years. At the GDC Expo, developers display the latest techniques useful in game development. GDC Mobile, first held in 2002, focuses on developing games for mobile phones. 
Starting in 2004, the GDC partnered with Game Connection to present Game Connection at GDC, a live matchmaking service for developers and publishers, which in 2007 expanded to include Game Connection services for outsourcing and other services. Starting in 2006, the GDC partnered with Video Games Live to feature their symphonic performance of video game music as the closing night event. In addition, the GDC has hosted a number of conference-wide game experiments designed by GameLab. The 2017 GDC included a board game design day, featuring talks from developers and publishers of tabletop games on their design processes. UBM TechWeb has also produced several spin-off events. For example, the first GDC Europe GDCE was featured at the European Computer Trade Show ECTS in London between August 31 and September 1, 2001. Other GDC-related events include the Serious Games Summit, first held in 2004 as a GDC tutorial, and spun off as a standalone event in 2005, focusing on developing games for practical purposes, such as education, corporate training, military, and healthcare applications, and the Hollywood and Games Summit in conjunction with the Hollywood Reporter first held in June 2006. Additional events include the Game Advertising Summit, the Game Outsourcing Summit, the Game Career Seminar, GDC Russia, the China Game Summit, GDC London, the London Games Summit, the London Game Career Fair, and many others. In late 2006, UBM TechWeb acquired the Game Initiative, and now produces the Austin Game Developers Conference. GDC China. Recognizing the burgeoning games market in China, UBM TechWeb brought its flagship event to Shanghai in 2007. With the continued support of Ministry of Culture of the People's Republic of China, GDC China is held in Shanghai annually and approached its fifth year in November 2012. GDC China has since been cancelled. IGF China. GDC China hosted the annual Independent Games Festival China IGF China from 2009, calling for entries developed by the independent game studios and individuals in the Asia-Pacific region. IGF China includes the Independent Games Summit, the Independent Games Festival Pavilion, and the Independent Games Festival Award Ceremony. Topic: <laughs> Recurring Highlights. Topic. Tutorials About half of the time during the first two days of GDC are given over to tutorials, one or two day long sessions on a given topic. Tutorials take the form of hands-on workshops and cover a variety of technical subjects such as game design, audio, topics in computer programming such as physics, graphics programming or web technologies, production and business management. Summits A summit is a section of panels dedicated to a sub-segment of the game industry, also usually held on the first two days of the conference. Past and current summit topics include mobile games, independent games, game education of students aspiring to join the industry, serious games, social games, artificial intelligence, and online games. Topic. Console Makers Keynotes Regularly, Sony Computer Entertainment, Microsoft and Nintendo deliver keynotes at the conference showcasing upcoming products and technologies. Next to the Electronic Entertainment Expo, GDC keynotes are one of the more significant sources of news about upcoming console hardware and platforms, but with a focus on the developer audience instead of the wider press. A number of games in development or upcoming releases are also showcased, but generally far fewer than at E3. Topic: <laughs> Developers Rant. Since 2005, the Rant panel has been one of the most popular sessions at the conference. Moderated by Eric Zimmerman and Jason Della Rocca, a selection of notable industry figures are invited to speak on industry-related subjects they are passionate about. 
According to Zimmerman, the idea of the panel is to really take those grumblings and mutterings and bring them out into the light, speak truth to power, cut through to the real s asterisk asterisk asterisk, and talk about what is going on in our industry what's wrong and what we can do to change it. Many rants inspire controversy, discussion, and a good deal of media coverage in industry press. Most rant sessions focus on a particular segment of the industry to draw their speakers from 2005. Burning Down the House, Game Developers Rant 2006. Burn Baby, Burn, Game Developers Rant 2007. Burning Mad, Game Publishers Rant 2008. Pouring Gas on the Flames, Game Designers Rant 2009. Burned by Friendly Fire, Game Critics Rant 2010. Fired and Fired Up, Jobless Developers Rant 2011. No Freaking Respect. Social Game Developers Rant Back 2012. Burn This Motherfather, Game Dev Parents Rant 2013. Mad as Hell, Hothead Developers Rant Back 2014. Rant Apocalypse, The Tenth Anniversary Mega Session the rant panel has inspired similarly structured sessions, with more specialized topics e.g. Game Educators Rant during the Education Summit, or rants during the Indie Game Summit. <laughs> Game Design Challenge Eric Zimmerman created the Game Design Challenge. The idea of the challenge, he said, was to give everyone a sense of the process behind game design, and to attempt to get everyone thinking about new kinds of games. No actual game needs to be built, just designed. The goal of the second annual game design challenge was to create a game based on Emily Dickinson. It was won by Will Wright who designed an Emily Dickinson personality simulator contained entirely on a USB flash drive. The personality would interact with the player by sending instant messages and email. The goal was to maintain a stable relationship and avoid the two extremes, romantic obsession with the player or suicidal depression. The first occurrence meant constant interruptions when using the computer. The latter occurrence allowed for the simulation to delete itself. The third time, the task was to create a game worthy of a Nobel Prize. Harvey Smith won with his Peace Bomb game. It would utilize wireless devices to organize flash mobs to engage in random acts of charity. For the first three challenges, Eric Zimmerman has always ended the challenge by indicating that all the contestants' ideas could really be made into a game. The goal of the fourth annual game design challenge was to create a game which was a religion, or which could become one. It was won by Jason Rohrer who designed a one-player-at-a-time multiplayer game named Chain World contained entirely on a USB flash drive. Topic. Experimental Gameplay Workshop The Experimental Gameplay Workshop is a two-hour workshop that showcases experimental video games and game prototypes. A number of experimental titles that were featured at EGW went on to become some of the most well-regarded in the industry, such as Katamari Damacy and Portal. Topic. Dates from 2009. Topic. See also. Game development. Electronic Entertainment Expo. Gamescom. Brazil Game Show. Tokyo Game Show.